Hey guys, my name is Faith, and today I had absolutely nothing planned. So I told you guys to tweet me and use the hashtag Faith Tutorials, and you guys gave me a bunch of suggestions. And this one managed to caught my attention because this is probably the weirdest suggestion ever. Well, at Fluffy Star said, please make a tutorial about the sum of binomial coefficients because I don't understand your lesson. Thanks, I LY. Well, I love you too. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's get it poppin'! So, as I said earlier, I'm here to teach you all about sum of binomial coefficients. Well, before we got down to business, we'll have the definition of terms. The first term is binomial. What is binomial? Well, a binomial is a polynomial that has two terms. Example, 3x squared plus 2 and 2a squared plus b. The next term is coefficients. What is coefficients? Well, a coefficient is a number used to multiply a variable. Example, 3x squared plus 2y. Where x squared and y are the variables and 3 and 2 are the coefficients. Now, getting the sum of binomial coefficients. The given is quantity of 2x minus 3y raised to 11. The coefficient is the only important thing that matters here. So, in that case, that will be 2 and negative 3 raised to 11. After that, just simplify the equation. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1 raised to 11. Now we all know that if a negative number is raised to an odd number, the answer is negative. Also, if 1 is raised to any number, the answer is still 1. So here, the answer is negative 1. To make it clear, I will give you more examples. The quantity of 3a minus 5b raised to 4. We only need the coefficients, so we will only use 3 and negative 5. So our equation will become 3 minus 5 raised to 4. We need to simplify the equation, and the answer will be 16. To check if our answer is correct, we can use the long method which is expanding the equation. So the expanded form of this is 81 a to the 4th minus 540 a cubed b plus 1350 a squared b squared minus 1500 a b cubed plus 625 b to the 4th. After expanding, we will add all the coefficients and the answer is also 16. Another example, the quantity of 2a plus b raised to 5. Just like I said earlier, we will only need the coefficients, so 2 plus 1 raised to 5. And simplified form of this equation is 243. Again, to check, we will expand the equation, which is 32a to the 5th plus 880a to the 4th b plus 80a cubed b squared plus 40a squared b cubed plus 10ab to the 4th plus b to the 5th. Take the coefficients and add them all. And the answer is also 243. Last example, the quantity of 3x minus y raised to 5. Again, we only need the coefficients, so 3 minus 1 raised to 5. Simplify this equation, and we will get the answer of 32. To check, expand the equation, which is 243x to the 5th minus 405x to the 4th y plus 270 x cubed y squared 
minus 90 x squared y cubed plus 15 x y to the fourth minus y to the fifth. And take the coefficients and add them together. The answer is the same, 32. So our answer is correct. So guys, that's the end of my tutorial video. I hope you've learned a lot. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If if you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below. Bye.